As we prepare for the Lord's table, will you pray with me? Lord, we come to you at this time to remember our Savior, to remember his sacrificial death, his resurrection, and his coming kingdom. Father, Lord, our desire is that you would receive the glory due you as we worship you in remembering your Son, our Savior. Lord, please be glorified, and I pray all this in the beautiful name of our Savior Jesus. Amen. Well, we'll be opening our, our Bibles this morning as we prepare for worship in taking the Lord's Supper. So if you have a Bible, grab it. If you need a Bible, raise your hand. Men will bring Bibles to you. If you don't own a Bible, please take this Bible with you as a gift from us to you. And with Bible in hand, would you open to Hebrews chapter 1. In our Savior Jesus' instruction regarding communion, Jesus instructs us to participate in communion as a remembrance of him. It's a remembrance of his physical incarnation, his sacrificial death, his resurrection, and his coming kingdom. The passage we're going to look at today has seven descriptive statements about Jesus. One commentator details these statements as seven praises. So in remembrance of our Savior Jesus, I want to highlight the seven praises. Will you read with me Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 3? God, after he spoke long ago to fathers in the prophets in many portions and in many ways, in these last days has spoken to us in his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom all he made the world. And he is the radiance of his glory and the exact representation of his nature and upholds all things by the word of his power. When he had made purification of sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. As I said, I want to highlight the seven praises that are found in, the, in verses 2 and 3. And the first praise is, Jesus is heir of all things. Jesus is the heir of cre creation whom all things have been made. Also in verse 2, the second praise is through whom also he made the world. What this is stating, this praise is Jesus is creator through whom all things have come into existence, created by him and for him. The third praise we find in verse 3. Jesus is the radiance of his glory. Jesus is the radiance of the divine glory toward which all creation Everything in creation looks for fulfillment. Our only hope is in Jesus. The fourth praise is also in verse 3. Jesus is the exact representation of his nature. Jesus fully participates in the divine nature of God the Father. The fifth praise also in verse 3, Jesus upholds all things by the word of his power. Jesus is the word of God. The sixth praise, when Jesus had made purification of sin, Jesus is the priest of God who has provided the perfect sacrifice for all human sins. And lastly, the seventh praise, 
in verse 3, is Jesus sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. There is no higher place. Jesus sat down because it was finished. Jesus accomplished the perfect atonement once and for all, for all sins. These seven praises exalt who Jesus Christ is. Everything in creation, everything in redemptive history is centered in Jesus Christ, the Son of God and the Son of Man. In a moment or two, you're going to be offered a, a cracker and a cup of juice. The, the cracker is a reminder of Jesus' body that he voluntarily gave up. And the juice is a reminder of the blood shed in his sacrificial death. This comes with a warning, though. If you are here today and you claim not to be a Christian, we're glad you're here, but this part of the service is not for you. This is the time of the service that is for those who believe Jesus Christ, what he has accomplished, and what he has promised. And if you're not participating in taking communion, will you ask someone near you, ask somebody you see up front to help you explain these words about who Jesus is and what he accomplished? We will take communion on your own, so when your heart is ready, take communion, and I'll come up and close our time in prayer. Men, will you come serve us?